ओम नमः शिवाय स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव स्टार्टेड विद द चैप्टर क्वाड्रेटरल्स इन द वीडियो वी हैव सीन द इंट्रोडक्शन द एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ क्वाड्रेटर एंड फ्यू थ्योरेम्स इन दिस वीडियो आल्सो वी विल सी द रेस्ट ऑफ द थ्योरेम्स द फर्स्ट थ्योरेम इज गिवन एज इन अ पैरेलोग्राम ऑपोजिट एंगल्स आर इक्वल सो If a parallelogram is given, then its opposite angles always will be equal, and its converse theorem. So converse theorem means the statements will be just opposite or alternatively can be proved. So in the converse theorem, if in a quadrilateral each pair of opposite angles is equal, then it is a parallelogram. So in a quadrilateral, if opposite angles are equal given, then it must be a parallelogram. so we have seen the theorems where the opposite pairs of sides are very equal here opposite pair of angles are equal so considering a b c d as a quadrilateral or parallelogram so always remember when we are drawing a figure of geometric bounded figure always give the name alphabetical serial order either anti clockwise or clockwise like a b c d or a b c d or a b c d this way even anti clockwise you can give like a b c d don't give the name as haphazardly like a b c d it will be a wrong so a b c d here it is a parallelogram if given from the first theorem then we can say the opposite angles will be equal so let's say from the first theorem we can say a b c d is a parallelogram considering so its opposite angle angle a will be equal with the angle c so angle a is equal with the opposite angle angle c so angle a and angle c are oppositely situated so angle a and angle c must be equal and similarly angle b and angle d will be equal because they are opposite angles so if a b c d is a parallelogram then angle a equals to angle c and angle b equals to angle d by the first theorem and from the converse theorem of this one so conversely we can say that if angle a equals to angle c if angle a and angle c equal this one given along with that angle b and angle d also equal it is also given then we can say that a b c d is a parallelogram then this quadrilateral a b c d must be a parallelogram so we can understand the statement how they have given first one is given as if a b c d are parallelogram then opposite angles are equal in the converse theorem if opposite angles are equal then the quadrilateral will be a parallelogram let's see the next theorem the next theorem is saying that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other so if the diagonals are drawn on a parallelogram then they always will bisect the each of the other diagonal and its converse theorem is saying that if diagonals of a quadrilateral bisect each other then it is a parallelogram so when diagonals of a parallelogram given then we can show that that they are bisecting each other and in the converse theorem if the diagonals of a quadrilateral bisected each other then the quadrilateral must be a parallelogram let's see by the figure so suppose a b c d it is a parallelogram where ac and bd are two diagonals by bisecting at a point o so if a b c d is a parallelogram then we can say that they the diagonals will bisect each other that means ao will equal with the oc that means these two part will be equal bd is divided ac into two equal half ao equals to oc similarly bo equals to O D so A C divided B D into two equal half B O equals to O D. When we can say this one, when A B C D is a parallelogram given, so the diagonals are bisected each other. Now from the converse theorem, conversely we can say that if A O equals to O C given, along also along with that B O equals to O D also given. so ao equals to oc given bo equals to od given then we can say that abcd is a parallelogram then this quadrilateral abcd will become a parallelogram when the diagonals are already bisect each other given so these are the theorems we have the application in the sum
and the next theorem very important theorem to prove a quadrilateral as a parallelogram so quadrilateral is a parallelogram if a pair of opposite sides is equal and parallel so if we able to show in a quadrilateral that opposite sides are equal also and parallel also then we can say that quadrilateral will be a parallelogram let it understand by the figure that pqr is considering a quadrilateral so in this quadrilateral opposite sides are pqrs qr ps so if we are able to show that pq equals to rs if either pq equals to rs this one side and this one side these opposite sides are equal and also parallel this one statement or we are able to show that qr this side opposite side sp these two sides are equal and also parallel then also we can say that pqrs this quadrilateral is a parallelogram so both of the statement we do not need to prove we need only any one of them either this one or this one so if we are will show that these two opposite pairs of sides are equal also parallel also or these two pair of opposite sides are equal also parallel also so then we can say that pqrs as a parallelogram let's see the exercise so in the exercise we have few application based sum like this one if the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal then show that it is a rectangle so what is given here the diagonals of parallelogram are equal so parallelogram given and the diagonals are equal that is mentioned we have to show that if diagonals become equal in a parallelogram then it will be called a rectangle we know what is called rectangle rectangle is a parallelogram where one angle at least it is a 90 degree and we know in a rectangle all the angles become 90 degree or right angle so if we are able to show that any one of the angle as 90 degree then we can say it is a rectangle because already it is proved that it is a parallelogram given so in a parallelogram if any one angle is 90 degree or right angle then it will be a rectangle so here a b c d is a parallelogram in which a c is a diagonal b d is another diagonal so let a b c d is a parallelogram in which diagonals a c equals to b d because it is said that the diagonals are equal so in the from the question we can write the diagonals a c equals to b d now as we are going to show that any one of the angle as right angle so let it consider we are going to show that angle b as 90 degree so if we are able to show the angle b as 90 degree then easily we can say that abcd is a rectangle now angle b if we see it is a part of the triangle abc this one so let it take out in the rough this one is not needed in the actual sum this one you can do in the rough to make it understand for better a b c so a b c so we are going to show that angle b as 90 degree now only one angle cannot be considered to prove as a 90 degree so we need another triangle to use the congruence so we are considering another tri triangle which one that b c d this triangle so d c and b this one so we considering these two triangle and we are going to prove these two triangle are congruent so considering the triangle a b c this triangle and b c d this triangle so in which we are finding the congruence criteria so here a b equals to c d a b side and c d sides equal why because opposite pair of sides in a parallelogram are always equal from the theorems of the previous video we know that opposite pair of sides of a parallelogram are equal so ab and cd are opposite pair of sides so they must be equal so ab equals to cd also bc is the common side bc is the side which is shared by the both the triangles so bc here and bc also here so bc is the common side for both the triangles and ac equals to bd 
where AC and BD are two diagonals in the beginning we mentioned. So AC diagonal and BD diagonals are equal. So AC equals to BD. So we are seeing that all the three sides are equal with the corresponding sides of the other triangle. So by SSS we can say that these two triangle are congruent. So triangle ABC congruent with the triangle BCD by SSS congruency rule. So ABC this triangle and BCD this triangle are congruent triangles. Now when the two triangles are congruent we can say their corresponding parts are equal and as our objective is our that to prove the angle as 90 degrees so considering this angle so this angle corresponding angle this one so angle ABC so let's see the angle ABC ABC angle equal with the angle BCD so angle BCD so angle ABC equals to the angle BCD by CPCT corresponding part of congruent triangles. Now these two angles are equal. But if we see the parallelogram that ABCD is as a parallelogram where AB and CD are parallel lines, BC is the transversal. So AB parallel to CD because it is a parallelogram and BC is transversal. So we have that op co-interior angle sum is always 180 degree so angle B and angle C must be 180 degree so angle ABC ABC plus angle BCD that will be 180 degree because of the co-interior angle so as angle ABC plus BCD equals to 180 degree and ABC equals to BCD so one angle can be replaced by other so we are replacing the angle BCD so replacing the angle BCD we can write angle ABC from here so angle ABC plus angle ABC equals to 180 degree now angle ABC plus angle ABC two angle ABC two and 180 degree if we cancel we have 90 degree so we have proved that angle ABC as 90 degree that means this angle become angle ABC as 90 degree so when one angle become 90 degree so we can say that ABCD is a parallelogram in which that one angle has 90 degree that is angle B angle ABC has 90 degree so easily we can say that ABCD as a rectangle because rectangle means a parallelogram with one angle 90 degree so ABCD already given as parallelogram and we have proved that one angle is 90 degree so it must be a rectangle so in the next video we will see few more application till then namaskar